Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, July the 7th, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Eight of Swords from the Light Sears Tarot by artist Chris Ann Donnelly. Boy, this deck hasn't even been out a year, and it's an extremely popular deck. If you haven't paid attention yet, check it out. If you're a tarot collector, it really is a great deck. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to avoid, you know, saying this, but if you've been with me since day one, you know that this card is like a frequent flyer here, okay? We saw it last month on June 17th, and I do believe it holds the record for appearances here on the blog. <sighs> what can I say? All right. First of all, Mercury is still retrograde. Yesterday we had a card with a very mental feel with the Four of Swords. And today is like even more so. Like I just, I got to find my way out of this kind of thing. All right. Um, it's just not time yet. All right. Rather than you know, getting after you today and telling you you got to step outside of the, the box to look for solutions. I'm just going to say just kind of try to ease away from the energy. You've got a void going on from extremely early at the beginning of the day until mid-afternoon in the air sign of Aquarius, all right? And this is an air card. And then the moon moves into Pisces, which leaves you you know, not just with your thoughts, but with your emotions and a great deal of sensitivity. So, you know, that feeling of being stuck and not being able to find your way out. It, you know, I think some of you are starting to find your way out of some things, but not everything. I know while this Mercury retrograde has brought some, you know, real pain things for me to deal with it's also brought some things where i might have set things aside because i didn't know what to do with them which is you know like what this card is about and i was able to go back and tackle them and be proud of myself because i was like oh i just figured that out wow what can i do with this you know this is amazing so you know there are possibilities here it's not to say that this is a do nothing card even with the void that's going on if you want to go explore possibilities with things that you already had in the works but you know didn't complete as long as you don't go trying you know no signing on the dotted line here today folks nothing like that but i definitely think that the possibility of making some headway is there all right you don't have to allow yourself to feel trapped with everything that's going on you know you might feel a little stifled as far as movement because this is only the seventh mercury doesn't go direct until the 12th and then it'll finally start to ease up and then you've got all oh, whatever especially whatever's going on right now with capricorn energy for you all right we just had that final eclipse in capricorn okay of the the series we're now in you know the gemini sagittarius ones and you have jupiter retrograde there pluto retrograde there and saturn retrograde there as well so if you look at that capricorn energy that's probably the area where you're like <clears throat> you know and in wanting to break free where you feel like your hands are tied and i do think that you can make some sort of headway if you allow yourself maybe the timing for launching things is not here yet but i think that you can get around some of this okay so don't beat yourself up over you know seeing this card again or anything where you don't feel you've got the solutions because I think if you focus on things that have been troubling you for a bit, you just might find some. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.